A, what happens to these buildings? Are they just left to rot? Are they used for firewood, for building material? Are the soldiers just selling back the stoves to um, individuals that come to the camps with merchandise? Do um, you have any idea about what, what happens with these camps afterwards? Bits and pieces. Um, in some cases, well, first of all, you know, you build your cabin and then your army retreats. Uh, there's a good chance that for the next month, your enemies are going to be living in that cabin because, hey, look what we found. Yeah. So there's that. Uh, in terms of camp stoves and the like, they were big enough that you're not going to just carry one and go somewhere else. So unless you can get it in a regimental wagon, it's probably going to stay where it is. Or maybe you destroy it so nobody else can have it. Yeah. Uh, that's what happens in the short run. In the long run, my impression, and that's all it is, my impression is that a lot of these structures get torn down to the wood. Mm. And a lot of them survive. And people live in them. There is a very healthy archaeological community that looks at former Civil War camps. Yeah. In some cases, they're torn down, and in some cases, they they eventually decay, or they get moved. I mean, their, their cabins at Perryville they can't actually get moved around. Those weren't permanent structures. The army only stayed at Perryville, you know, a month. And that's, that's basically one regiment. But, I mean, there are structures, and they get moved around. Hmm. Um, you know, for some people, some people needed housing, and they would function as housing. Um, I mean, it would be a really interesting study to look at these structures post-war and see what happens to them. I confess I have not done that. I don't know of anyone who has, although it wouldn't surprise me to find out that someone has, but surely at the end of 1865, they dotted the landscape. Yeah. And how you, you try to start cleaning up that landscape is, I think, a really fascinating question. Yeah. Sounds like we're giving grad students a lot to think about here today. <laughs> I hope so. I, I hope so. I know some grad students who are, are working on these issues, and I have to give a shout out to one of my own grad students, Peter Thomas, who is working at camps in Virginia. He's trying to understand the camp experience and yeah. at every level, both physical and the environmental, but also the cultural and the mental. And yeah, I hope, I hope other people will continue to work on this. I really do. Yeah.